Okay, so if you're watching this video, this is a tutorial on how to download an item from Etsy, um, unzip that file, and where to install it specifically for um, Live 2D items uh, to pin onto your model. Um, so when you buy an item on Etsy, let me go to Etsy's website really quick, um, you will get uh, a file. So you'll need to go to your purchases and reviews. And you'll need to click download file on the item that you bought from me. Um, and it will include a text file. Once you get that text file downloaded, it will pop up in your downloads. And it'll say how to download. You'll need to copy this link and go to the Google Drive. Because these files are too big to put on Etsy. And you'll need to click this download button here. It'll start downloading that zip file, the basic bow bundle. And then once you go to your downloads, mine saved to my desktop, um, we will just unzip this file by right clicking and you can click um, unzip on some operating systems, extract files or open with WinRAR. I'm gonna open with WinRAR and it gives me this folder here. I go ahead and just drag this folder out onto your desktop. And then you're gonna need to know where your VTube Studio is installed, which you can find by going to Steam. Um, and you'll have already had to have installed Steam and VTube Studio through Steam. And then right click VTube Studio, you can go to Manage and Browse Local Files. Here, you're gonna want to put this unzipped folder of whatever item it is you downloaded. Um, and this is items, if you're like going to be using a, a model model, like a fully tracked model, like the hamster or the Pokemon ones that I have. Um, you'll have to put them in a, different, in a similar but different spot. But for items, you go into VTube Studio, VTube Studio Data, Streaming Assets, and you put them here in items. Um, if it's a like a furry model or a Pikachu model, you'll need to put it in Live2D models. So let's go to items, and we are actually gonna put all four of these in here and with that that should be good to go now when I open VTube studio over here let's get that background color change real quick um, the items will now pop up in this menu here so just search bow and you'll see all the bows that um, we added in. Let's do the thin bow for now. And it no notice it says that they're live 2D, so they are like animated items. Hit select. And then here, make sure you click this bottom item to add color to it. Configure slash fine tune the live 2D item, as well as specify if you want this like on the front of your model, or if it's gonna go behind your model. For the bow, I'm gonna put it on the chest, so I'm gonna put it towards the front and we want it to pin to the model, I'm gonna hit configure and fine tune. Gonna just click through that, and then we will shrink it. Click, and while holding, drag it where you want it. And then you can just let go. And now it's stuck to the, um, the body art mesh. And then from here, once you hit save, it's going to ask if you want to customize the color with multiply and screen. We're going to hit yes. And here you can change you can change the colors of everything. The easiest way to do it is just search color. So thin knot color would be the little knot there. And you can change it to whatever your heart desires. I'm going to do this bright pink. Okay, okay. Thin end color, paste, paste. Tassel color, paste. Paste, 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 and paste, paste. And if you want, you can even change whoops, um, the highlight color on here. So just search highlight. And you can change those here too. So if you want it to be kind of like yellowy or pink, you can do it that way. I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, and then I'm just gonna paste that onto the other highlight layers. And you can also even change the shadow. So you could just, I think some of them say shadow, some of them say shade. 
search shadow. Okay. And we can do, we can make the shadow like a different color. So we can make the bow look kind of a little more purpley. I'm gonna hit okay. Okay. And I'm just gonna apply this It's not copying. I wonder why. Um, hit OK, OK. Paste, 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 paste. Okay. And don't hit cancel. If you hit cancel, it'll erase all the work you did. Um, close the little X button there. And now all that's left is the line art. We don't really need to change the line art. You can if you want. Um, but I'm just gonna like shrink my little bow, put it back here, let go. And then if you want this bow to stay where it is, you can double click it and that pins it to the model. So now it can't be edited um, and hit okay. And now if you want this item to be toggleable, you're gonna need to save it as a scene. So let's go to create new item scene. I'm gonna go ahead and name this one like bow. I'm gonna put this in like a neck group, neck items, bows. Because that way the name of the group this item is in, so it's a, the item itself is bow or bows if I put multiples, but the group is in neck. So anytime, like when you load an item scene that has a group, all other item scenes with the group will be unlooted. So if I have different styles of bow ties, applied um like if i wanted to be able to switch from this bow to a different bow if they're both in that same group and i save those on a hotkey they'll switch out they won't get stacked on top of each other and then you'll need to go here not here the gear the shortcut menu you'll create a new hotkey we can do thin bow i'm going to set it to control b we're going to set it to an i toggles item scene and we're going to specify it's bow, control B. And now when I press control B, oops, that item turns off and on. And that's how you will attach items to your model.